Hey everybody, it's me. I'm back. I don't I, I know. I usually start with something like welcome to the stream, but I'm having a moment of hypermania and we're going to ride it until that wave crashes ashore cuz um <laughs> I am low energy today and this little brief spurt of something which I'm hoping to supplement with caffeine and sugar will Ride me three hours until I can crash into bed. I'm so tired today. You have no idea. I woke up tired and then I biked to work and then I biked to the gym and then I had a new routine at the gym that I was working on. Like this was my first time doing like last Friday was my first time doing my day one of my new routine. Uh, Wednesday was when I learned the new routine in the first place. Today was my first day doing day two. And then I got back on the bike and I biked back and it's like it's ridiculous humidity and too fucking hot there. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's the other thing, too, because this is a bunch of freshmen now. There's a bunch of freshmen on campus and all the children. <laughs> oh, I had a moment today, too, because so this is the thing. I work in the library. Right. And then the library is in the same building complex as the student union. The student union has a cafeteria in it. It's not like a actual dining hall. You, it's an a la carte. You have to pay kind of a thing. Um, and so I unfortunately woke up too late and got out of bed too late to actually make myself a lunch today. So I was like, I'll just buy a sandwich at work. It'll be fine. They have this kind of interesting turkey club, which has bacon aioli instead of bacon and the first time i tried it i was like this is bad because it's like bacon flavored aioli it's not actual bacon in it and then i actually opened up the sandwich because i ordered an extra couple slices of bacon to put on the sandwich today i opened it up and found out that the aioli actually has chunks of bacon in it and i'm like oh well why is it disappointing anyway so i'm i i go down uh and and, and right next to the the student union on the other side of the street from where uh, the student union building is is the academy now i don't really know what that means to be honest i don't know how students are selected um i don't know exactly how it's run but it is a preparatory high school all right that is owned and operated by the university i forget this <laughs> all of the time so i'm down there i Put in my order on Grubhub because I wasn't getting in line. Apparently, the lines have opened up again. They, all of last year, they only took orders by Grubhub and pick up. And now they're actually allowing you to go up to the counter and order. Okay. And <laughs> I, I'm sitting there. I'm standing far away from the entire uh, one of the ones that I was open. It's, it's, it's a diner. Um, they do burgers and stuff like that but they've also started working more you know preppy stuff in there too like clubs um so i i'm giving the area pretty wide berth because it's packed full of children and it literally was me being like okay so i know freshmen are back on campus this is what freshmen look like now have I really, truly gotten old enough that I'm looking at them being like, oh my god, you fucking children. You're in college? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That was only 10 years ago. Oh my god, you guys are freaking babies. And then I realized that they're actually high school students. I'm like, thank fuck. Okay. Because <laughs> I was like, whoa. Whoa, when did you guys get that young? That's not okay. <laughs> That's not okay. Now, mind you, it was really frustrating having to do with a bunch of high school boys that are all that weird kind of broy nerd. Like, if you kind of know what I mean, like the broy nerds, like they're proud of their nerddom, and I'm good for that. But like they're the gatekeepy kind. They're like the mm, if you don't have at least a thirty sixty, then I don't want. To, well, I don't know why I'm speaking with this notoriously gay accent, but you know they're like the you know oh you play PS four mm, okay. Still, I'm doing the gay thing. I can't stop the gay. <laughs> you can clip that. <laughs> I should make that my my channels. 
my channels. Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Catchphrase. So you can't stop the gay. Anyway, it's it's me. I'm the gay. <laughs> thank you, Ragnarok. You didn't <laughs> you didn't really have to, but thank you anyway. Uh, um, so. No, that so they're like this broy kind of gay with no spatial awareness or awareness of anyone around them at all. Okay, so they're all like huddling at the pickup spot of this thing, like all literally like this. And I'm like, guys, there's still a pandemic. I thought you were into science. Keep those masks on and spread. Okay, why are you like this, like sardines? They're not going to make your food any faster because you're standing right there. What are you trying to be a Garen? Like, settle down. They'll call your number when they're ready. You have an entire thing. This lady, trust me, this lady at the register has a voice that fucking carries. All right. When this whole cafeteria is filled with loud fucking college students, she will yell, order 36 and you will hear it. All right. My compressor was doing some really hard work right there. I bet that that sound like crap right there. <laughs> uh, anyway, so this is all happening. And I literally had to go up behind these guys at one point and be like, excuse me. And they did not move. And I'm like, excuse me. And then some people started picking up and I'm like, excuse me. And then they parted <laughs> I'm like, I have to go to work. Move. <sighs> Children. Now, I did get a look at the freshmen, and yes, the freshmen are here. I, the freshmen start moving in tomorrow, officially. Like, there are Boston Public Works Department signs that are up around campus to be like, this university is moving in starting tomorrow, there will be traffic, there will be delays, get ready. And I'm like, I'm not ready, I don't want to deal with this, because there are more people on the bike path. Because motorized scooters are the rage, and they don't go fast enough for me. I'm going faster than you. You have to move. Don't put on headphones, because then you can't hear me aggressively digging my bell at you, being like, on your fucking left! I need to get soundproofing in this room. I'm pretty sure I just made sure my landlord could hear me. <laughs> That's fair, Ragnarok. That's fair. Yeah. We have a staggered... Um, we, we did this last year. We have a staggered move-in. So instead of moving in everyone all one day, which is what's been done in the past, it's you are given an assigned time to move in, um, which I think is a better system. I hope it will make it easier. However, that does mean that is an entire week of clueless freshmen and their equally clueless parents wandering around campus and being in my way. That's the frustration. I don't have to worry about them being so much in my workspace at the very least, because not many people just kind of wander into the library. Especially since we won't let you in unless your ID works. And for the freshmen, it doesn't work yet. Then they can't get in. So that's fine. Um. Just, oof. I mean, that's that's the thing. They just, like, they wander. They're completely clueless. They just wander. And it's like the level of audacity of these people. I'm, I, I'm walking around a place, like, excuse me. Like, if I'm walking around a place and I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I, like... I don't know exactly where I'm going, but I know I need to be somewhere in this vicinity. I am like anal retentive about finding a map and making sure I'm in the right place. Worst case scenario, I try to find someone who has the most public facing looking office, like a reception desk, not in an office, but like an actual desk in the hallway or something like that. And then I can be like, where is this room? How do I get there? Right. These people, they just walk in. They just walk in. And I'm like, can I help you? This is my office. Can I, can I help you? We're closed. Please leave. And then they're just like, oh, we're just looking around. We're just checking it out. I'm like, no, no, you're not. Please leave. 
But then they're going to pull the whole, mm, well, aren't you supposed to, like, I pay for your salary. I'm like, you paid for my salary. It's already done. I don't work for you. You don't sign my paychecks. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Oh, that's going to be annoying. I mean, I don't even know when we're going to open up our offices again. I mean, because you know, while I complain about my office, right, it's mostly in terms of COVID right now. My office actually, like if I ever post a selfie in there or something like that, you can see in the background, our like recording collection is in my office office. You know, my desk is just in a separate room that contains all of the CDs we own, most of them. About half the vinyl as well. Maybe a little more than half. Um, and we're sure as hell not getting new space for a hell of a long time. So, meh. Bitter. <laughs> See, I mean, that's one of the nice things about the way my office is set up. At the very least, I am not sharing any space with anyone. So, because of that, I can take my mask off when I'm in my office, which is nice. I won't lie. All of us kind of have our own spaces, with the exception of my 76-year-old co-worker who kind of works in the outside office, whereas I'm the inside office. So every time I have to leave, I have to go around his desk. I don't know how to deal with that. Because, like, I'm just passing. So, eh, eh, eh. I don't know. IDK. At the very least, you know, we all get tested every week. So there is that. I'm I am relatively comfortable in the knowledge that each of us gets tested every week and therefore if we do test positive, we will not be at work. So yeah, we can't get the building to stop leaking. That drilling that was happening today, I don't know if you were in the office for this, because Witchy Wander and I work together, by the way. I don't know if I've ever made that clear. Um, but we work together, and um, there was drilling in the building today. This is a giant, concrete, brutalist building, which means when there's drilling <laughs> happening anywhere in the building, Everyone hears it constantly, all the time. Like, it just reverberates through the friggin' beams. Oh, okay, so you're still, you're still not over here yet. Got it. Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. But, yeah, no, there was drilling today. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I talked to my colleague about this, my boss, about this. Not, not in the sense of, like, I wish, like, can you tell them to stop? This is really bothering me. Not not like that. I know that they need to drill. I know the reason for their drilling is because there is another pipe somewhere that burst, and now we have water inside in a library, and that's the second worst thing to happen to a library. The first is fire. So was that knock on wood for hopefully it doesn't burn down or knock on wood for hopefully it does 50-50 eh, <laughs> um, actually that was one of my favorite moments with one of my former co-workers she retired unfortunately but she was wonderful her name was Doreen okay she's up in cataloging wonderful woman most Massachusetts woman you've ever met like she had such a thick North Shore accent it was a thing of beauty <laughs> and um so unfortunately she did retire but it was a great thing because i remember one winter break i think it might have even been 2019 um right before winter break um pretty much the entire administration was going to be gone one person administration was retiring the other two were going to be on vacation and the university librarian i i don't know i, I don't know what he was doing um so th there was basically like someone needed to watch over the building. Someone needed to be on call in case there was an emergency at the building. Building, And it decide they decided that it was going to be Doreen. And Doreen <laughs> was telling 
one of the assistant university librarians, his name was Tom, and he's since retired as well, who was also who he was going to be in France at the time. <laughs> She, he was like, you need to take this seriously. Like, if they give you a call, you need to come in. Like, you know, it's a really important kind of emergency thing. And she's like, if they give me a call and they tell me that it's burning down, I might just laugh and hang up. I hope you know that. <laughs> I'm like, Doreen! Yes! Because <laughs> honestly, honestly, just let it burn. <laughs> just let it burn. I know... There's a bunch of precious things in there, but the building, ah, new building, semi-precious materials. <laughs> I'm a librarian and I'm advocating burning the library. So here we are. I'm not advocating it. Okay. How about that? Where I'm not advocating. I am, I am. Yeah, I'm not advocating burning the library. But if it happened. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, Home De Home Depot. I can I can definitely see that. It's basically just like a big steel box. So like, you know, the top is just a big big drum at that point. Like you jackhammer on top of that thing and the whole thing goes blah, 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 blah. like ugh. I mean, what was my favorite my favorite thing I've heard? It's um sound is just uh music is just wiggly air. Sound is just wiggly air too. So Oh, God. See, like, we don't, I don't really have an accent, as far as I'm aware. Well, okay, I guess I'll, I'll walk that back. I don't have a regional accent. Let's say that. I don't have a regional accent. I, um... Like the 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 New Hampshire accent is things like idea instead of idea. Like you have good ideas. Um, I I can't do it. I can't can't listen to that when that happens. Um, I don't really have much of a Massachusetts accent, which I could have picked up being in Southern New Hampshire. Um, I do say drawer. These are drawers, not draws. Uh, you know, I look in the mirror, not the mirror, and I and every every Boston suburb person who hears me say Mera tells me that I'm saying it wrong. I like, you know, I don't crayon. I mean, that's the thing. Like all of these things I pronounce like the Webster's dictionary version of American English. <laughs> like, I don't know what else to say. And and so it was really shocking to me. Well, OK, I'll, I'll back up and say the disclaimer that I have is I actually took an acting class when I was in freshman year of um college and the acting professor the theater professor who taught it was actually an accent coach she was an australian accent coach so first of all she had this delectable australian accent and then on top of that she was used to hearing and she was used to hearing and coaching people on different regional accents so she you know obviously was pretty well versed in regional accents of the united states and at one point, I just remember having a conversation with her in her office. We were just shooting the shit or whatever. And I was just like, yeah, I don't really have an accent. She's like, mm, no, I think you do. Um, I'm not going to try an Australian accent. It's a bad idea. Um, and she was kind of like, no, you, you actually kind of do. You have this um, what we call an academic American accent. I'm like, oh, what's that? <laughs> and she's like, it's basically the closest thing that modern Americans have to British like standard BBC British. It is like the received pronunciation of the United States. And I'm like, I love that. I love that. I have an academic American accent. I sound smarter than you. <laughs> Not you specifically, but you know. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I like that. Anyway, <laughs> like I would. I know. I know. I didn't cultivate this either. It just happened. I swear to God. <laughs> um, but then I went down south. Going down south was definitely experience because, I mean, it was it was right on the Alabama border of Georgia, Georgia and Alabama. So you had your like, I even remember there's this one girl. 
she was an undergraduate and she talked like this all the time. She had this very set, like very Southern Belle kind of accent. She had this long drawl that she just enjoyed very nicely. And she just had this air about her. She always had, as I, as she said, the higher the hair, the closer to God. And I asked her one point to come and pick me up from the, the airport shuttle depot. She was driving like a 1980s Nissan that was like falling apart. I was like, oh, I thought you were a bitch. And then through a little poking around the rest of the studio, I found out like, no, she just sounds like that. And I'm like people. OK, I thought that was just how rich Southerners sounded. I didn't know that was just how people from Georgia sounded. But there we are. But then I also had people from Alabama, which was a lot more like country you know like what you expect to hear from a southern accent that's not like the southern bell you know southern aristocracy kind of a thing so with this background i'm there my professor is also from new hampshire like you know it, she and i had like a lots of uh lots of commiseration moments being like yeah the dumps around here suck she's like i know doesn't it suck i'm like yeah yeah it does because at the very least back up in new england while it was not good it was good enough down here is just bad um and so with that background people would tell me that i had an accent i'm like what like yeah it really only comes out when you say things like boston because you say it like boston and i'm like wait how do you say it <laughs> as far as i'm concerned that's how you pronounce boston it's an ah uh sound, not an o. Oh. You don't say Boston. Like, it's not a, it's not a, no. <laughs> and they're like, oh, no, but you say it like it's an A-H. And I'm like, no, it's A-W-H. Like, ba, ah, ah, deep, ah. If I were saying it like someone from Boston, I'd be saying Boston. Like, it's an ah, Boston, you know? You gotta go down. To, you gotta go down to Mass Ave. You get your dunks from that dunks right there. You gotta talk to Cheryl. All right, talk to Cheryl. She's my best gal. All right, and she'll she'll get you hooked up with the good dunks. All right, you, you make sure you don't get the Dunkachino at that place though. Like if you want a Dunkachino, you gotta go to someplace else. Like then you're talking ah, not all. Anyway. I don't know how we got on accents. This is where we are. Manic energy of August 24th. Let it go down in history as the time that I lost my shit on stream. <laughs> mm. I've had so many good ideas for this stream as well. Like, we're going to play Psychonauts next. I don't care what you guys think. I love you all, but I'm making the executive decision as the owner and proprietor of this little stream corner. We are playing Psychonauts, and I can guarantee you, if you have never played Psychonauts before, you will love this. You will love this. It's going to be such a good, lighthearted change from Mass Effect, especially with how this is going to end, because I know. Ah! It's so good. It's so good. And then once we're done with that, we're going to play Psychonauts, too, because it comes out this, like, this week or next week or something. So excited. And it's so tongue in cheek, but it has some pretty great nuanced takes on like mental illness and trauma. Like, it's pretty freaking good, even for 2005. I mean, oh, I, I played it not too long ago. I played it sometime like two years ago, I want to say. And that was the first time that I'd ever played it. And when I played it, I was going into it being like, OK, this is a platforming game from 2005. Don't expect much. And I walked out of it being like, OK, I see why everyone freaking loves this game. This is why Double Fine is one of the greatest gaming companies that's ever been producing games. Like, I can't call them indie anymore, especially now that they're owned by Microsoft. But like, they were a huge indie deal at the time. I mean, don't get me wrong. Grim Fandango is an amazing game as well. And I had played that before. And Grim Fandango is, like, amazing. But take into account Psychonauts as well. I understand why people hold up Tim Schafer as a genius. And as where he's kind of a problematic one. Hopefully. <laughs> Hope that stays true. If it hasn't already been disproven. Uh... 
<laughs> my man extreme. Let me go back through the chat for a quick second. Hold on. Um, because I, I, I was on a rant. I was going. Oh, oh, Elliot, you don't have to. Thank you, though. You don't have to. If anyone doesn't know, my birthday is actually coming up. I'm going to be starting my perpetual 29 years this September 4th. Oh, yeah. So I'm I'm very excited about this. By excited, I mean I want to eat something nice. I have a particular restaurant in mind. Well, two. That's the problem. I have two. One is out on the Cape, and the other one is here in Boston. And I'm not sure what I want to do. Like, Italian food or, like, Americana? I don't know. The chicken pot pie at this place out on the Cape. Oh, let me tell you. Like, this place and the chicken pot pie itself. My great-grandmother, Sella would drive from Rochester, New York, where she lived, all the way out to the Cape, going over the Sagamore Bridge, exit two, going to the Daniel Webster Inn, or the Chicken Pot Pie. Rochester, New York. That's like half of a day of a driving that she would go just for the chicken pot pie. The woman was certifiable, I swear. But it's, it is that good. I'm not going to lie. It is really that good. Like, the way they serve it, too, is so very different. It's, it's, it, it's in a crock. They serve it in a crock. They basically have the chicken pot pie filling as a stew in a crock. And then they put, a la like, a, a thing of puff pastry on top of it. Um. And just, ugh. Ugh. They serve it to you by, like, dump... They, like, spoon it out of the crock onto your plate. Then they put the puff pastry on it. Well, no, they put the puff pastry down first, spoon it out on top of the puff pastry after they crush it a little bit. And it's just like, ugh, ugh, ugh. It's so good. And I swear, if I could find the recipe for it, I, I would never stop making it. It would just be, like, a regular staple at least once a month. It is... Very heavy, though. The gravy is very creamy, and you can tell that you are adding pounds as you eat it. <laughs> but it's so worth it. However, there is this restaurant in the North End called El Dente's. For those of you who are not around the Boston area, Boston's North End is famous for uh, the Italian food that we have there. It was one of the major immigrant neighborhoods, uh, especially Italian immigrants, and there are tons of Italian places there. They're so, so very good, all of them. I'm not going to lie. But El Dente's, in particular, has this one dish. This was a place that we went all of the time during high school. Basically, uh, the theater department, any the theater department, the th the theater program in high, my high school. Anytime we went to a Boston theater show, we would eat at El Dente's, um, even though it's nowhere near the theater district, mind you. But, you know, <laughs> we would eat at El Dente's. And so. The the. Um, they have this special. I say special in giant scare quotes because it's on their menu all the time, but it is a daily special, but it's always there. It is a prosciutto-wrapped sirloin in a demi-glace with four cheese risotto on the side. It is sinful. Sinful. It is so incredibly rich and so incredibly good. It's been too long. And I might be talking myself into it right now. I still have to decide. <laughs> it's so good. I can only eat half of it. I cannot eat much more than that because the risotto alone is so incredibly rich and then just oh 
well, small warning for everybody who's into Italian meats. Apparently there's a salmonella thing going on right now. That includes like salami as prosciutto and, you know, uh, mortadella, stuff like that. Basically anything that is Italian charcuterie. There's there's a possible salmon recall coming. They're basically now saying that if you are over the age of 65 or you're somehow immunocompromised, you should heat your Italian meats to 165 degrees before consuming them. And I'm like, hot salami? Uh, no, no, thank you. It's already bad enough when it gets warm. Ugh. So, um, I'm going to hold off on, on the Italian meats for a little bit. Thank you, Ragnarok. You found it. Yeah. Uh, it was great, too, that I saw that today after I got prosciutto yesterday. I, ha I had prosciutto as a snack for yesterday. That was a really great moment. It was nice. I liked that. Anyway. It's now 940. How about we play some Mass Effect? You know, what we're here for. <laughs> that small little thing. Oh, the other thing that I can I can brag about. I forgot to brag about this. I don't know if I've already bragged about this. I might have. But um, you can see my, my face went totally white because I'm looking at my browser. I was just going to close it. And I remembered I was looking at my uh, grades for the summer term. And I was all worried because I was worried I was going to lose my 4.0 GPA. Well, I guess he's walking out with a 4.0 again. Mm, 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 mm. But that's not all. We're going to talk professional development. We got to talk about professional development. I am now one of the newest ex officio, not official, but ex officio board members of the New England Music Library Association. I have been tapped as the officer for equity, diversity, inclusion, and justice. And I'm pretty freaking stoked. Apparently my name came up and somebody liked me. I asked my boss about it today, thinking it might have been her, and it wasn't her. I think it was actually one of my professors from this term. So that's pretty freaking cool. Um... So I'm basically going to be in charge of putting together an EDIJ committee and starting to recommend work for for us to do changes to the bylaws of the organization, both locally and the national parent organization. That's pretty freaking cool. I definitely experienced a little bit of imposter syndrome because I'm like, I am white and very male passing. So um, how did you guys come upon me? But then I'm like, oh, yeah, remember that I'm really freaking queer. <laughs> so, you know. At least I can bring that perspective. And what I will do is what I do in my regular life is leave the leave the stage open for people with other experiences than mine to talk about those experiences in our field and take that take that, you know, listen to that and take it into the work that we do. If they so choose that they want to join, awesome. But there are some things, there are some possible barriers to entry that would require, you know, like they need to be part of the organization and they need to pay their dues in order to be part of the organization in order to serve on the committee. So it's like, eh, I understand if it's not being able to. That is awesome, Elliot. Congratulations. You deserve takeout. You totally deserve takeout for that. That's awesome. Oh, did Mass Effect crash? No. Go back. Ooh. All right, I have no idea where we are. I also have a little Italian ice cup that's been sitting here and melting this whole time. I really wanted ice cream, but, you know. I, I do have ice cream. I could have had ice cream. Problem is I wanted this very specific kind of ice cream that I finished a thing of yesterday. <laughs> Meme your old, old playthrough. What are we 
doing? That's a great question. What 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 are we doing? We're going on to the Citadel. We haven't done that yet. Okay, that's what we're doing. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Me walks into room, suddenly forgets what we're doing. Yeah, we're not doing the Perseus Veil yet. Um, not quite. That is the next major part for sure. But um, we have some, we have some Citadel You're stuff to, to do dock, first. Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Yes, we'll start at the hospital, work our way down. Yes, Commander. Ugh. Drink the strawberry juice. Okay. Just gonna do the usual thing, wander around, see if there's anyone that we can... You know... Oh, hey, Jacob! Hey, Shepard. I'm glad to see you. I know things are crazy right now. Exactly. So you have to take the moments when you can. Oh. Thank you for the 11 months, Digishell. Thank you. What's going on with the Crucible? That project is crazy. Freaking huge. And all these brilliant minds are working night and day trying to figure it out. I wish you could see them. Heads down, piecing it together. It's something to see. We'll get this crucial. And, you know, as is tradition, thank you, Ragnarok, for the resub yeah, for seven months sure. as well. Thank you. I feel it. I love that you guys literally you have... Get it done. Um, Believe it. You know, just... That you... Yeah, tradition. Tradition! 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 <laughs> Nailed it! <coughs> Nailed it! Oh my god. Love that I choked on my own spit when I was trying to sing Fiddle on the Roof. It was interesting to meet Ugh. Wendy. How is she? She's great, actually. It's good to see her work without the distraction of- I was gonna say, it's usually like, there's the double whammy from yeah. Digishell and Ragnarok, and then Elliot, yours is right afterward. Shepard. Wow, oh, baby! Congratulations. Wasn't exactly planned, but I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna be a better father than mine was. Do the whole thing right. It's, uh... <laughs> One more thing to fight for. You got that right. <laughs> Bryn wants to name it after you. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Shepard. That's... nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna talk her out of it. No offense. <laughs> None taken. Oh, oh, you're... You're pregnant. Oh, that's, um... That's... That's soon. <laughs> you know there are options. There are options. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know if anyone knows that TikTok or that TikTok account, but it is delicious. So what's going on with you? I love you her. like what you're doing? Things are good. I'm good. Still not tempted to come back to the Normandy? Always tempted, Shepard. <laughs> but no. So, you working on the Crucible? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm smart. But not that smart. Packet keeps me busy, though. How's he doing? Holding up. If they make old guys any tougher than that, I'd like to see it. I'm Ugh. glad we had time to talk. Me too. Gotta take the moments when you can. Well, I'm sorry, did you shell? And Shepard. Thanks again for getting my people Hope out alive. Hope it improves soon. Take care, Jacob. Or at least you get a little break from it. I'm thinking about you out there. Stay safe. I'm glad we had time to talk. Me too. And Shepard. Take care, Jacob. You too, Shepard. Shut up. Boop. Welcome to Santa. Be 
I remember at least one thing that we have to do when we're here is there's the doctor over here that was like the Turian poison guy, right? Yeah, here we are. I overheard what you said. I found this at a Cerberus station, a poison tailored to Turians. Let me see. Yes, I think this is it. With these schematics, we should be able to come up with an antidote. Thank you. Excuse me. The general might pull through because of this. Yes, General Corellius should make a full recovery. He's already awake and responsive. That was really fast. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you might be dealing with a little bit of jet lag, too, because there is that. But yeah, it is. It is at night. <laughs> Boston Trophy Wife after dark. Oh, really? Nice. That's cool. <laughs> I was to say, I, I, I guess I don't quite have the sensual after dark moments feel of like this this you know thing it's really more like hi we're gonna stay up till 12 in the morning you guys ready let's go that's a little more a little more my speed it seems <laughs> i had caffeine and now i'm tired but faster thank you for shopping at canala exports I recovered the Book of Plenix. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Earth Clan, this is a priceless gift. Thank you. You may help my people remember themselves. He is an accountant. Thank you, Arsenal Supply. What is the Mass Effect version of OnlyFans? I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. Earth Nation, thank you. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, that's one of the reasons why I just... New York is fine to visit but it's so hectic all of the time i could not possibly possibly live there i just i cannot bring myself to do it found another one yeah the guys in zakara did too disarmed there safely no casualties nice work that's why boston is just a, be a much better city it's far more manageable in size so takes forever to get from one side to the other, but you know. That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first hat after the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. I now regret having Italian ice as my dessert instead of something that had some kind of substance. Just, you know, something. I'm gonna try to avoid talking to my. Well, maybe I just need to. I don't know. Let me hit the F5 button. We'll see what Liara has to say because this is gonna be like a thing. You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. Where's that? Armali, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, Ow. getting in trouble, digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, that's actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. Ha! It'd be nice. 
And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. Aww. Give her a hug! Hello, Shepard. Why does no one in this game hug? I blame Bro Shep. It's Bro Shep's fault. Welcome to no Thank you for shopping goods. at Nosastra Sporting Goods. Welcome to Casa, Casa Fabrication, Fabrication Weaponry. Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. It just, it needs more hugs. The world in general Tasha needs mo hug, more hugs. Of course. P. Weshra, I have an audio log for you. Here we go. Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. I'm gonna walk away now. I just broke this person. <laughs> Mass Effect, everybody, greatest game of all time. <laughs> Hugs are harder to code than gunshots. You know, I can see it though. I can see it. The 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 you know interaction between two characters in a embrace is tough i suppose and it's not like it's a generic thing because it depends on the heights and the limbs and how the armor fits or the clothes and yeah i get it but still hug specter status recognize one moment please there we go I'm on a game where the primary fighting mechanic now is just hugging. At board level purgatory. Will your new heavy armor keep you safe? I've watched reports on some of the things you're fighting. Well, it won't stop a reaper, but an extra second of shielding can be life or death. So Vortex makes good shield capacitors? The best. They don't skip on plating either. I love it. Sounds like you want to get back out there to try it out. You know, a little. Can't wait to show it off to the team. Maybe I can take point more often now. Okay. You uh, compensating for something there, sweetheart. Sounds like you might be compensating for something there. Kill him with kindness. That's that's my modus operandi. My gun might also be named kindness, but you know, kill him with kindness. Um. The silence pistol is named kind kindness. Let's be real. I recovered some texts from a library in Reaper controlled space. I can have them waiting for you at bay D24 if that would help. What'd you end up getting if I may be so bold as to ask? Even just like the cuisine. I literally was just about to say the genre of food. The genre. What the fuck? Hey, Commander. I was just about to get us another round. So, looks like you two are having fun. Yes. Joker has been smiling and laughing at a significantly higher rate since he and I agreed upon a relationship. I mean, he is happier. It seemed like you two might make a good match. I was not so certain. When I first presented his body to Jeff, he seemed aloof. Really? What did Joker say? He said I didn't have to conform to some feminine ideal in order to impress him. I then called him on his bullshit, and we <laughs> then proceeded to talk to him. I then called him on his bullshit. His Edie. exhibited signs of change. He said he was reluctant, but you convinced him to go for it. I might have helped a little. I see. Thank you for your support, Shepard. This is I like Garrus sitting in the background awkwardly. Is that Garrus? That's not Garrus. Never mind. You just introduced me as your personal assistant's man. Yeah. Well, that woman's ass so is just inside. fully out. You know I am not one. Why deceive others? You don't really want to introduce yourself as an AI in Uber-based code. They would 
lynch you. That would be an inefficient way to render me non-functional. They're having this conversation with this waiter waitress sitting right here, just being like, uh, do I have to report this? Just, what do, you, what do you want with your wings? Your turn. Counselor Table. But points off for attitude. Shaira the Consort. Uh, hot, I guess? Can we stop this? You're creeping me out. Dalatras Minron. Ew. <laughs> hot or not, baby. Your turn. Counselor Table. Yep. And first regiment. Yeah, got it. I mean, yep, yeah, Domino's works. I'm not going to say no to Domino's. I definitely get their stuff all of the time. There's a, um, what's it called? It's their, like, barbecue bacon chicken. I get that all the time. What do you say? I, should I remember you winning that. Yes. That was, um... Carmen San Diego, right? Was that, was that Carmen San Diego? Oh, okay. So that wasn't, that wasn't the year that I remember then. Okay. Javik, with the save button. Don't want to accidentally romance him. But I don't think it's possible, though. I don't think he's an option. Hell of a view, isn't it? During our war, this place became a myth to my people. A dream glimpsed only in the memory shards. The citadel was both the heart of our civilization and its demise. The Reapers hit here first, didn't they? No one I knew had ever seen the citadel. To be here now, I don't know what to think. It might not seem like much, but a Prothean is standing on the Citadel alive. That's a victory in itself. Perhaps. When things were at their darkest, we used to tell stories, imagining the wonders of this place. The seat of our empire. The power to sway worlds. The galaxy belonged to us. Nowadays, a lot of races have embassies here. It's true, then. You share power with the rest? It's not perfect, but it's kept the peace. Most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time. Pardon me. This one has been listening. This one suspects you are a Prothean. I remember your kind when you were still minnows in the ocean. This one is unworthy. This one has seen the face Say, of a... This is literally like Jesus showing up. Consider your kind to be their gods. A pity we did not teach them to speak better. You're really a Prothean? This is where the whole galaxy finds out the Protheans were actually dickbags. But if you lost the last war, what hope do we have? For many. There may be no hope. The Reapers killed trillions in my cycle. The odds of being among uh, them... I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> Let me just... Alive now. Stop that you there. alone is a miracle. And you still have the power to fight. Yeah. My people knew your country. That was going in the wrong direction. Torian, Asari, Hana. There was potential in all of you. Now you must seize that potential and become the weapon you are meant to be. The weapon that tells the Reapers we are not machines. We are alive, and we will fight back. Thank you. Okay, I, w I remember you winning with Carmen San Diego. Commander Shepard. But I think I only went one year. Prothean fighting alongside you. <laughs> He's kind of fucking scary. He's, He's not wrong. Javik is one of the best soldiers I've ever seen. The commander is a capable warrior trip. as well, for a human who once lived in caves. Thank you, Commander. I've enjoyed my time here. 
walking among the young. I will see you back on the Normandy. I mean, I get that. I remember going to Drag Ball as Elsa. The year that Frozen came out, I sang Let It Go only three semitones below pitch, and I am not a mezzo-soprano, okay? I belted Let It Go on stage, and I got second place. Some bitch who did Cruella de Vil. Like, the whole version of Cruella de Vil was not... Not enough to... Should not have done anything. Yeah. Hashtag bitter. I hoped you'd come. I won't remain here much longer. What are you doing on the Citadel, Samara? Oh, I, suppose I absolutely was I a winner. That was not my favorite costume of all time, but... And I'm still disappointed I didn't do better. I felt the need to speak to you before heading to battle. I want you to know there is no one else I'd rather see leading us in our last hours. We'll make the galaxy proud. The largest fleet in history is already on our side. It is impressive. Most would have deemed such an alliance impossible. But Shepard, be sure to assess your force's strengths and weaknesses before setting out. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such small discrepancies. It's small. Is that how you see it too? You yourself killed a reaper on the citadel, and then another on Tachanka. I can only oh, follow such bravery. Stop flirting with me. Oh. Will Falaire be alright in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy, but if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly, and it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. Space mom. I don't know if you believe in such things. But goddess go with you, Shepard. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. We'll both be tested in fire soon enough. Damn. That is a quote if I ever knew. All right. This is like the line at the CVS to get my meds. Jesus. News. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter leaves for Thessia tomorrow. A caretaker will travel with her to ensure she reaches her relatives back on the homeworld. Thank you. Thank you so much. Aww. Aww spend the time you have left with her i'll take care of the rest okay but see that's that's when a customer service job gets to be good like that's that's the moment when you're like yay 
Penny yeah, Shepherd. I, yeah. I have to admit, everyone's walking around in a daze. These are dark days. Pretty sure. To work. We already. Yep. We still have the same conversation every time. Bucko. Turning radius on this car is really terrible. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. Well, if I'm walking, it's perfect, but if I'm running, uh uh. Nope. Like a boat. What's this? A message terminal? Wait. Good to see you're all right, Shepard. What's up, Miranda? Miranda, what's going on? Couldn't meet in person. The Citadel is too dangerous right now. I heard about the attempted coup. Yeah, with Kai Lang's help, Udina nearly seized control. Kai Lang? That slippery bastard still alive? He's alive and right in the middle of all this. That complicates things. I'll be on my guard. Look, I don't have much time, but I learned what happened to my sister. Where is she? I don't know that yet, but my father was definitely responsible. If he's done anything to her, I'll kill him. Miranda. Shepard, listen. I'm being hunted by Cerberus assassins. A lot of them. I need to stay out of sight. What? Why? I heard a rumor. Maybe more that my father is working on something for the elusive man. Something big. Why would your father be working with the elusive man? Especially now. My father is ruthless about preserving his legacy. Legacy? He has an obsession with making his mark in history. Ensuring his dynasty lasts forever. So, standard rich person thing. Made him an offer. Exactly. We're gonna find out that Miranda's last name was originally Bezos. Whatever's going on Too with spicy your for this channel. We have to figure this out. Sorry, Amazon Daddy. I agree, but I need to do this myself. It's time I stopped running from him. Miranda sure? Musk. Yes. I can't think straight until I know Ari is safe. Be careful. I can't promise that, Shepard. Could you? No. I couldn't. <laughs> what, Amazon Daddy? <laughs> I'm sorry. But also not sorry. They d it is an Amazon-owned service that we are watching and subscribing to at this time moment. I feel like I'm just the Washington Post at this point, though. I can criticize Jeff Bezos, but I have to put little parenth parenth parenthetic ugh, parenthetics around that, being like, this channel is owned and operated by Jeffrey Bezos, born in 1964. Recognized. Please select a destination. One oh, moment, me. please. Ethics <laughs> disclosure statement for this channel. Ah. Now arriving at docking. But he hasn't paid me anything, so you know. Commander, thanks for coming. This must be really hard on your sister. I'm very sorry for her loss. <laughs> right, I know. Actually, there are four of you. There are four subscribers. It's tough to see her go through this. Damn it. There I go again. It will eventually make it to me, yeah. We're close, too. Before the end of the year, I will probably get a payout from he Twitch. You wanted me to say something about our family. I wanted Thomas to hear it. You need to be strong for Sarah now. You're right. God, my shepherd so looks pale as a sheep. She's no career soldier, but <clears throat> there she is, coping with all this. Reminds me of Dad. Whatever was going on, he put a smile on his face for us. Your family made you what you are. He did his best with four daughters and a strong wife. He always said, live fire exercises was good prep for facing his girly horde. Your sister's waiting. You'll be fine. 
All right. Here we go. All right, that therapy hat's getting a lot of use. Yeah, I was gonna say that's her sister. Okay. Is her sister a Remember vampire? Remember the trip to the beach the summer before I left for basic training. Why does she look like she's a misplaced Victorian Gothic extra? I'll meet you back aboard the Normandy. there, so that's good, I guess. Let me try and catch up on some of the chat here. Ooh, coming back to the East Coast. Coming to the best city, the hub of the universe, otherwise known as Boston. I mean, there's a non-zero... So... It's it's a non-zero chance, but it is a very low chance. <clears throat> My roommates and I applied for a puppy yesterday. Uh, the puppy is in Los Angeles. Uh, so there there is a non-zero, I guess, chance that I could need to fly out to LA. <laughs> But I say it's very small because it's very unlikely that an LA-based shelter is going to want to, Welcome to Batarian State Arms. you know, sell to us <laughs> all the way out here in Boston. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, yep, James? there's James. Commander, what brings you down here? I was about to ask you that. Well, <laughs> no, the puppy's name is Zoe at the moment. I made up my mind. I'm going to join the N7 program. She's so cute, though. And you're celebrating by getting Aww. a tattoo. I'm going to be so sad that we're not so, going to get her. I'm see, sad. There's no official it's channels. It's a corgi right mix so, of some kind. This is my way of making it I'm official. pretty sure a corgi... i just an N7 recruit. Um, but, you know, I figure with you as my trainer... I think trainer, she's a corgi how could I Aussie Shepherd mix. Right? She's just so freaking I'm adorable, the exactly little baby. Training. She's got floppy ears. It's like a floppy-eared corgi. goddamn war. I'm just oh. saying, whether you like it or not, you're my direct superior and you're N7. So I take my lead from you, and you know, I'll take whatever advice you got. Really? Sure. The good advice. Well, they wouldn't ask you if they didn't think you could handle it. Here's hoping. But the real work starts now. Uh-huh. I know it seems like I don't take things seriously, but when I commit to something, I fully commit. Ugh. Clearly. Hey. I won't let you down. The only person you need to prove yourself to is the one standing in the mirror every morning. Good point. You know, that's going to sting for a few days. There's no tattoo. <laughs> Always. <clears throat> hey, maybe we should get matching. You want no. me to get an N7 tattoo? N7? Sure. Or you could get my name done. Somewhere special. You are nope. such a tease, Vega. Who, me? You ever going to make good on all this flirting? Uh, I was just, I didn't mean to, you know, I was just. <laughs> That's what I thought. 
Later, Lieutenant. <laughs> Later. <laughs> Careful. Love that. <laughs> You're ever gonna make good on this flirting? That's what I thought. My bitch. What the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. I, what the hell are you looking at? Nothing. Nothing. War asset acquired. <laughs> what? How did we get? What? <laughs> okay, I guess. Sure. I mean, my, my shepherd can, while she is a paragon, she can be a petty bitch, so I can see it working for her, too, to be honest. Ooh, that's awesome. I'd like There's... to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll do better against the Reapers than Cerberus, ma'am. And what combat experience against Yeah, I know. Someone's over there. We'll get there eventually. Hold on. Outstanding. I recovered Prothean data drives from Garbug. I'll have them brought here. Commander Shepard. Thank you. I'm sure that'll help with... Uh... Any operation we have going. All right, that good? We got it all. Uh, yep, we don't do that. I don't think we have those yet. I don't have that yet. I don't have that yet. I don't think we have any of the rest of these yet. However, I know Garrus wanted to meet. I don't remember where he wanted to meet, though. Where is where is the boy? Here comes the boy. Oh, there he is. Just let me know when you're ready to take a break. You guys ready? This is one of the hardest instances of all. Of, like the hardest choice. Shepard, glad you came. Would you have the mind? question is hit or miss? Something that doesn't involve fighting reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. But then I thought, if this was my last day alive, I'd actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Where are we going? You know, park on top of the hospital. Not supposed to. Now you're talking. Ever have that one thing you always wanted to do before you died, Shepard? I've woken up with a Turian next to me. Still trying to make me blush, huh? Until it works. So what's your one thing? The whole time I worked it's at so Caesar, cute. I'd stare up at the top of the Presidium and say to myself, I want to go up there. But I never did. There were 137 regulations telling me I couldn't. So you got them changed? No. Now I just don't give a damn. Figured it's time to do something stupid just for the hell of it. Might be the last chance we ever get. Do I hit or do I miss? Incredible. I'd be lying if I said I didn't hope it would inspire a certain mood. Oh. Something on your mind? No. It seemed like you needed time to figure us out. Are you ready to be a one Turian kind of woman? Here we go. Here we go. Let's hit the button. Yes. The only thing yes. Earth bearable was knowing you were out there somewhere. Oh, fuck. I felt the same way. It's the so dripping with sugar. Going to hell would have been never getting to see you again. Oh, I am. Exactly where I want to be. <gasps> I love you, Karis Vicarian. Wow. The vids Joker gave me, well, they never got this far. There was the part about sleeping together, but this is... Get up and kiss me, you fool. Who needs a vid? <laughs> Oh.
Now, before we head back, there is <laughs> okay. going to settle once. Ooh. Oh, my. Not saying you don't know how to handle a gun, just saying some of us know how to make a dance. So let's find out who's really the best. Okay, okay. This is the problem. The who've seen me in action, Garrus. They seemed impressed. Yeah. Do I hit or do I miss? It's actually a choice. No. Do I hit it or do I miss it? And don't worry, I loaded it with practice lugs for when you miss. That was an easy one. Let you build up your confidence. Long range, I wrote the book. Nobody alive can do this, not even Commander Shepard. Give me a tough one. <laughs> I said a tough one. Step aside. This is the hardest one! Do I miss on purpose or do I shoot? It's so hard because there's no right answer. If you miss on purpose, then there's the suspicion that he probably knows that you missed on purpose because he can tell. But if you shoot it, then you're kind of killing his confidence. Mm. There's like no good way. I want my baby, but I am the better shot. I'm sorry. He totally would know. I know. That's fair. Do it. Nobody alive, maybe. But technically, I died. Quit. Well, next time we'll throw in a herd of rampaging clicks, and that's how you separate the rookies from the pros. <laughs> My husband. I want to give him the all the hugs. Commander. We good? Got it all? Okay. We are going to take a well, I did save, I believe. Ugh, excuse me. Woof. So in that case, let me... I have a quick save. Oops, load. We can see it the other way. We'll skip through the, the ushy gushy gush thing. Shepard, glad you came. Shut up, husband. In mind. This time you better propose. Fighting reapers. I don't think they've conquered the bar yet. I already scoped it out. Then I thought, if this was my last day alive, All right, so I'd make actually like to remember it. So? So, I had an idea. Somewhere would now, ever have that. I woke Still up trying. Till the whole, but I never. So you... No. I'd be lying. Something... It seemed. Are you ready to be a. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm going to watch this part, though. The only thing that made leaving Earth bearable was knowing you were out there somewhere. I felt the same way. The worst part about the galaxy going to hell would have been never getting to see you again. Well, What's the... Exactly where I want to be. I love you, Garrus Vicarian. Wow. The vids Joker gave me, well, they never got this far. There was the part about sleeping together, but this is... Who needs a vid when you've got me? I'm taking screenshots! Now, before we head back, there is one thing we're okay. going... There are a few... Yeah. Right. And that was an easy... Lol. Do it. I'm Garrus Vicarian, and this is now my favorite spot on the Citadel. <laughs> it's windy up here. There, there. It's okay. I know there are other things you're good at. Oh. 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 She might be a paragon, but there's a 
She might be a paragon, but there's a pair of uh, Turian handcuffs in her bunk. Just saying. Just saying. You know. What he means is that she's good at pegging. Anyway, with that, I'm going to take a quick break <laughs> and get another drink. Uh, so I will be right back. Okay, and we're back. 
Ugh, I am back with a can of Coca-Cola. And, oh, okay. And a small bowl of cheese whales. And yes, they are whales, not goldfish. Um, I don't know what it is about these, but they're Stouffer's. And they're like the goldfish knockoff. They're better than goldfish in every way. They have a little bit more crisp to them. The salt they use is like the super fine salt. You can never feel the granules. I don't know. I just like them better. I like them better. Maybe the cheese they use is better too. I don't know. Maybe that's the difference. I had to order them on Amazon specially in order to get these things. Like it was hard. <laughs> these things are not easy to get a hold of. No. I have been surprised by the stuff that I can find at a Hannaford's. So. Alright. Let me check my little guide here. Make sure I'm on point here. Pretty sure the next thing is the proceeds fail, though. not going to do the Perseus Veil right now. The reason why makes perfect sense. I can't tell you, because it's a, it's a spoiler. We're going to do some DLC. Bray? Uh, the great Commander Shepard. <laughs> and me without my autograph book. Save it. Just take me to Aria. Follow me. So where is she? Get in, bitches. We're going shopping. Dramatic. There are too many eyes and ears in purgatory. Aria, I hope you know that CSEC is absolutely I tracking this. This is about retaking Omega. This is about your war, Shepard. Cerberus controlling the Terminus system seriously bolsters their mobility. Since taking Omega, they've spread through the galaxy. Surely the Alliance has noticed. Cut to the chase. What's your plan? Kick them out. Elegant, I've simple. I've amassed a fleet of Merc ships. We're going to punch through enemy lines and invade. Once we're on Omega, it's a ground war. That's why I want you. I only accept the best. The leader of the Cerberus occupation is General Oleg Petrovsky. He's the one who ousted me. This is going to be a new experience for me. The elusive man's top military strategist and best kept secret. But all you really need to know is that he's a merciless bastard. Because I have never played the Omega DLC. What's your intel on the occupation? Petrovsky's army is massive and he's got Omega locked tight. The information stops there. So you're winging it? Not at all. There are secrets on Omega only I know secrets that will provide us a foothold. I can tell you this. Petrovsky's invasion was precise and ruthless. We'll stop at nothing to win. Sounds familiar. Shepard, I know my reputation. I know I'm hated. I ruled Omega with an iron fist. But the people were free. Their lives were theirs. I preserved that. This man took all that away, and he is going to pay. Oh yeah, you're the noble savior monarch. Omega 
is mine again, I'll give you everything. I've got ships, mercs, Ezo, all yours for the war. What's the catch? I have objections to some of the company you keep. So you'll have to leave the Normandy and its crew behind. My crew are professionals. Let's just say, I want you all to myself. Not liking this. Bray will provide coordinates to my fleet. Oh, and while we're still in the Citadel, please be discreet. I'm the best secret agent in the galaxy. Get into this system. Signal me when you're on your way. Ari and I will meet you on the command ship. <laughs> Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. You double cross me and there will be a bullet in between all four of your eyes. Like right in the middle. Well, that's not far away at all. Alturian ships? do better. I don't know what's a good shotgun. Anyone have recommendations here? Ah, uh, I see. That makes sense. Boomsticks are really... They're, you know... They were great in Mass Effect 1. <laughs> I guess that's what I'll put it at. As myself, I don't really carry much uh, interest. I have 11 points. Oh my god. I gotta use it. Hmm. I mean, Black Widow's great. Oh boy, here we go.
like that. Ah, no. Okay. Yeah? All right. We're outshipped four to one, and most of our vessels are transports with limited firepower. We're not here to win a space battle, Jarl. We just have to punch through their line. So, you commandeered a Cerberus cruiser. The guest of honor has arrived. We can finally start. Let me guess. You're planning on infiltrating the enemy fleet. Exactly. We position ourselves to strike a crippling blow, then my forces join the fun. A lot could go wrong. The assault's been planned for weeks, Shepard. For now, just sit back. Let me steer. Not the best start to our partnership, Arya. How things begin isn't nearly as important as how they end. Bray, move through the relay. Signal the fleet to wait. They only follow on my command. for the command ship. Captain, to say that. The hard way. That's right. Nice and slow. How long till this goes, tits up? Be patient. Get as close as you can. Fire! Chaos. We're through. Head straight for the station. We're being hailed by the general. Should be interesting. Put him through. Aria, I knew this had to be you. You'll never make it. Call it off now. You're barking up the wrong tree, General. But maybe you can convince my partner. Commander Ooh. Shepard, I've heard great things about you. My partner here doesn't have much to say for you. She's not used to being defeated. It clouds her judgment. A pity you left, Cerberus. We all sabotage ourselves in nefarious ways. Perhaps deep down you fear success. And Arya clearly thinks seeing you will unsettle me. Now it's my turn. I see you've gone to the trouble of augmenting that ship with Solaris Armoring. An exorbitant waste. I've made improvements to Omega's outer defenses. My cannons will cut through you at will. He sounds pretty confident. Yeah, he does. So again, I say turn back. Let's see what you've got, Oleg. End transmission. That went well. Set preset course. We're ramming the station. Everyone brace for impact. What? Okay. Omega's kinetic barrier will stop my ships from landing. I equipped this cruiser with disruptors to take it out on impact. Don't worry. We'll probably survive the crash. And she's fucking crazy. Okay. Here we go. <sighs> Part of the ship. All systems failing. We can make it. Arya, don't be stupid. Sound the evacs. Damn it. Program escape pods for the station. Let's go. Everyone out. There's no time. That went well.
guess that asshole really did upgrade Omega's outer defenses. So it would seem. Are we even gonna make it out of Omega at this point? Like, that's why you don't trust criminals to take out a paramilitary organization. Already going to shit. Escape pods made it. So much for the element of surprise. Right. What's our target? <clears throat> we need to hit the defense system station. Shut down Omega's outer defenses so my ships can land. If we don't, they'll be blown to bits like we were. Got it. All right, time to get out kindness. Well, there goes our entire squad. Ground assault. In combat, what you say goes. Arya relinquishing command? I'll believe it when I see it. I can be a team player, Commander. We'll I know see about we that. Go and you can get us there. Okay, let's move. There you are. Let's see about that power of yours, hmm? that guy in the neck. That is a pistol. Not a pistol. That's not what I wanted to say. Also, I should have... Here we go. Whenever I get an achievement, my computer will boot me back to the desktop for some reason. Use the controls to lower the blast door. All right, switch guns. Over here, Shepard. I'm coming. I'm coming. If you know anything about me at this point? It's that Commander Shepard takes her goddamn time. All right. I will come when I am ready. Gotta loot the hell out of this place first. I'm not convinced you're going to pay me. Arya to fleet. You alive out there? Barely. Holding our own with the Cerberus fleet, but Omega's defenses are shredding us. Keep my army intact, Gerald. That is your only job. Ah, fucking hate centurions. Alright, she's just going, isn't she? I would suggest hitting him again. But you say go, Shepard. Oh, there's a guy right here. Hi. Well, <laughs> he's not there anymore. Okay. If I am going to miss anything, I would appreciate a heads up, actually. I don't like missing things. Or, wait, this is something, though, that, like, when you miss something, you can actually get it from the requisition office? Ground 
team, report in. Bray, you there? Affirmative. But only six pods made it. Various entry points. Rally them to you, then head for the rendezvous hangar. Start prepping for our ships to land. Let's hustle. Every minute, more of my ships get obliterated out there. Working on it. All right, you want me to do the thing, then I will do the thing. Sectors 3, 14, and 15 shut mandatory shutdown. Interesting. Ah, okay. Let's see. Everybody's hiding behind things that I can't see. There we go. Getting close. Those cannons have to be stopped. All of Oof. All right. Aria might might be the lesser of two evils in this case when it comes to who rules Omega. I guess that that is that is a fair point that Aria did make. So there there is that. Yeah, I don't like Turiot. I don't like turrets. Turrets! That's what I was trying to say. I don't like turrets either. They're not my favorite things to shoot at. They're not satisfying in any way, shape, or form. They're just pillars of death. This were multiplayer, not and Mass Effect 2 multiplayer necessarily, but. The next area needs to be repressurized. Initiating! Stop Oop, there they are. Friends. Let's talk. I just want to talk. That's all. I just want to talk. Boop. It feels good to let Tell your boss I'm coming for him. Alright, you guys. Aria, chill. Fill that tank. One of our pods. We were lucky. Press on. Lost two more transports. Can't keep up with these maneuvers much longer. We're right outside the defense station. Hold tight. There's a combat engineer hiding back there. There we go. Get to the controls. <sighs> Thought I was giving the orders here, you know. Thought I thought I was giving the orders. Was I wrong? Was I incorrect? Oh, all right. 
guess we're gonna just, uh, yeah, hit the button. Jarl, defenses are down. Signal the surviving ships to converge on the rendezvous point. Come in. Status. Rendezvous site secured. Hangar doors enabled. We'll have them open soon. Need them open now. My birds are coming in. Prep for reception. What exactly is this rendezvous point? That's where we're headed. It's a bunker I established on D-Deck for my more sensitive operations. It's utterly impenetrable with its own secret hangar mm. and dock. Independent power source, life support, munitions. You'll see. Aria, look. I don't need to deck. do that. Investigate and await further instructions. I wish they had actually been given him like a Russian voice actor, to be honest. His last name is Petrovsky. But instead, he's posh British. There's a good chance the general knows where we're going. Then no time for sight. Right, I mean, they were leaning into it already. They might as well just continued it and made him Russian. Great, stay sharp. His name Let's is Petrovsky. He plays chess while he's in the middle of an operation. I've locked down the way we came. Ah, uh, yes. Arya Tolov. Welcome to Omega. I assume you are here to reclaim the station from me. As adorable as that may be, I request that you turn your ships around. We're causing a stir. Good. Oop. Ow. Really? Fuck. Damn it, Ari, I was doing that. <laughs> Feels good to let loose. Let me let loose. Get him. I'm built solo all of these levels. Oh, nice. Honestly, if I ever got hiking footwear, skyline. it would be now I feel like shoes, back. not boots. I don't like Strange. boots. What are those things in the distance? Some kind of force field. That's not good. Das ist nicht gut. Non-humans currently without supervision are required to report to the nearest civilian containment area. Oh. Oh. Some of my men. For racism. How cute. You thought that shield pylon was going to make a difference. to the rendezvous. Let's move. A weird space. It's like, it's weird. I know that symbol. It looks like a gang tag. The Talons. They used to deface my property, too. Warning. Omega has been compromised. All servers, personnel, report to stations. Boo, boo. The 
Talon symbol again. Hmm. Could be evidence of a resistance. Might be useful. One of my soldiers by the force field. He's gonna touch it. And he's what gonna die. What is he doing? Need to check out that force field. I have a feeling we shouldn't try to walk through it. Just saying. Just you know, it's a it's a hunch. Over here, Shepard. It's a it's a it's a tingling feeling in the back of my brain that we should probably not touch the big glowy red force field that disintegrated that Vorcha two seconds ago. How about that? How about that? Eh? This is, this is the plan. This is the plan. Plan is don't die. Poor idiot. Something tells me these force fields are going to be a problem. Something. Are we blocked? Not this time. Come here. Secret passage. What are you doing? Letting you in on a secret. Down the ladder. Weird, cool shot of my heels. Who's there? Show yourself. Spirit, look who's back. Aria Talo. The first and only female Turian that I am aware of. Nyreen, what the hell are you doing here? Playing cat and mouse, mostly. Just trying to stay alive. If it wasn't for these tunnels. My tunnels. I'm sure glad I showed them to you. If you hadn't, I'd be dead or locked up by now. Arya doesn't trust easily. I guess you're a good friend. I don't know. Are we, Arya? Shepard, this is Nyreen Kandros, ex-Turian military. We go way back. I've got a lot of questions, but they'll have to wait. Follow us, we'll get you to safety. I'll do my best. Ready to put that gun to good use? You have no idea how ready. Girl Squad. Let's do some leveling up. Exploding, of course. Why would I not have exploding? Oh, I have to do all of this. Uh, incinerate, I kind of got that one covered. Overload is the uh, super big deal. Um, 
Um, hmm. I like how she has eyelashes. It's a little weird. much but sure okay so why are you here we back, go Arya? to reclaim what's mine left something behind I take it not something everything Status. Still landing inside the bunker. Keep the enemy out. Lock it down. Now. Lower blast doors. Lower the blast doors. All right. What do you have and what do you need? We're going to give you a different gun for sure. Something that just hits a little harder, maybe. Damage is low. I want high fire rate. High damage. Modify this to give it some more damage. Missing Frogger. I know, right? You get enough games in and then you're just like, oh, uh, you know, Frogger was a mood, though. Remember when we could just slap Omnigel on everything? Great. Why aren't the cannons online? Something's jamming up. Trying to identify. We'll flank the enemy. Get them off you. Okay. Defending time. Let's go. That's doing practically nothing. Omega's mine. Boop. Come on behind me. I don't want these dumb things. Okay, Arya, stop saying tell your boss I'm coming for him challenge 2021. We get it. The boss, they're coming for him. I can shoot him through the thing. I'm back. No function detected. Good. There we go. Through. There's a Cerberus engineer in here hacking the cannons, keeping them offline. We'll find him. Probably won't be hard. I mean, Incoming. probably gonna kill pretty much everything that's out here anyway. So you know. Why do you guys keep 
keep coming? Stop coming. Die. Stop and die. Die, did I die? Please die. Thank you. Yes, I'm aware the engineer is still out there, but I'm being ganked right now, so. Is that a word we're still using? I don't even know anymore. Are they gonna keep coming out from right above me? Because I wanna not be here right now. They do, and there's a big atlas right here. I'm gonna hide behind this thing. Nice. Press the big button. Things God. I took out two Reapers. You think I can't take this platoon of Cerberus out? should absolutely enjoy your pizza. Lock it down. Pizza is good. It is wonderful. Arya, I know this place is built like a fortress, but is it safe now that the general's clued in? Yeah. I feel like a sitting duck here. I have no intention of sitting around, and you both should know I assume nothing. And on that front, Nyreen, you left Omega fairly angry with me. I wasn't aware you'd returned. Explain yourself. The truth is I never left. The fact I went to great lengths to keep from you. I'm not easily duped. Well done. But why? I just... couldn't leave. Considering all this, I wish I had. Well, you always said I'd be the death of you. Nyreen has military training. We can put her to good use. You're so quick to trust, huh, Shepard? And Irene never approved of Omega's, what did you call it? Moral bankruptcy? Are you willing to help defend it now? You'll find me very willing to liberate this station. Your combat skills seem a little rusty, but you're still a good shot. See my duty officer. So, who's gonna spill the tea on these two? Keep an eye on her. Will do. All right, Shepard, we need to move fast. I'm itching for- The revenge. only person in the galaxy that topped Arya to Loke. If you think I'm gonna let you carve a bloody path through this campaign, you're sadly mistaken. And if you think you're going to change me, well, you're welcome to try. Once up and running, this bunker will provide recon and secret access to much of the station. I'd appreciate it if you would quickly eyeball operations, see that things are setting up smoothly. What will you be doing? 
Checking in on my forces. I need to know how many survived the assault before I can plan the attack. It won't take long. Join me at the command console when you're ready. Okay. Let's check in on everybody. Put on the therapist hat and make sure everyone's doing okay. Hugs have come to Omega. Do you, do you need any, do you guys need any help or, you know, like a, some water? Okay. Protein bar? Anything to help you guys keep going? I'm a cool mom. <laughs> Juice and energy bar, guys. We moved five. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Quoting from it itself. Commander, if you have a moment. Oh, so it's like knock off my Normandy crew. This area is still unsecured. Off limits for now, Commander. All right. Everything we had is prepped and ready. It's not much. We could ask the scouts to keep an eye out for medical supplies. I thought about it, but I doubt Bray would go for that. You talk to the scouts. I'll handle Bray. When you can spare some time, Commander. What is it? I've been tasked with increasing this command center's control of Omega's operating systems. I've hacked surveillance on many decks, tapped various internal communications. <laughs> Gonna have for a kind bar in this trying time. Only reach so far. <laughs> there are terminals in Cerberus controlled areas, and well, you could get your hands on them. When you find these terminals, a simple input code will give me access privileges and more influence on station systems. Easy enough. Good. I'll keep an eye on my board and I'll let you know when my I was gonna say, who is this? Is this Trainal? Trainer spelled T R A <laughs> Trainer spelled T R E I Nope. Trainer spelled T R A I N O R instead of T A T R A Y N O R. It's it's like mm, yes. <laughs> Like the, the the generic version. I hear this. Hello, welcome back, Neo Stormer. Hello, everyone coming in. I swear, if you don't answer soon. Thank you. Where are you? You don't know? Seriously? Look, just check your Omni tool for the station schematics. What do you mean your Omni tool is broken? Ruck, that's not good. I... Ruck is the person's name, Ruck, or, is, or were they trying to say fuck? Look, I'll just talk you back to the bunker, okay? Huh. Ma'am, can't get this right. What's the trouble here? Power inverters are shorting, trying to find a workaround, but no go. They can probably be scrounged up somewhere on Omega. If you come across a set of carry inverters, bring them back here. I'll see what I can do. Okay. Uh, anything else? Anything else? That's telling me that there's no go. That's a weapon bench. This is an armor locker, and we're moving on. New inverters are the only answer. Keep an eye out for panels. I'll cross-reference with my station schematics to try and figure out where you are. I... What? Ruck, I can't find a single reference to that location. No, I'm not joking. There's nothing remotely funny about this. Only you could get lost like that. You don't even know how you do it. Hey, I'm just saying, as skills go, that one's pretty impressive. Commander. Okay, I guess we're moving on. As, how are we looking? All systems operational. Full Omega schematics coming online now. Let's take a look. I see. Shepard, those force fields we saw. The General has them set up everywhere. 
He's controlling access across the station. What are these dark areas? Many sections of Omega are powered down. I'm betting power is being siphoned to run those force fields. Find the source, priority one. And we'll need a full tactical assessment of all Cerberus positions. I'll get on it. Shepard, we have work to do. Our losses were significant. We can't field an army large enough to face down Cerberus. And we need to find allies. Uh oh. Story still of my alive. life. <laughs> We've confirmed there is a Merc gang that's still active. The Talons are resisting the occupation. Not my first choice, but they're all we've got. Then it's time to play diplomat. And if the current leader won't join us, the next one will. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? I turned away for a second to offload supplies when I looked back. You lost her. Well, I... We're locked down. She's gotta be here somewhere. This bunker has secret access points to other parts of the station. Unfortunately, Nyreen knows them. Damn it, hmm. Green. Interesting. If I wasn't already short on manpower. We have to focus on getting the Talons on board. Shepard, I'll meet you at the armory exit when you're ready to go. But don't keep me waiting. Okay. Yes, what is it? Got a minute? We need to get going. But what's on your mind? Once we recruit the Talons, how do we reach the General? I'm working on it. His command center set up an afterlife. No doubt a deliberate move to piss me off. Don't let it get to you. He wants you off balance. Anger helps me focus. Those strange force fields are blocking access to much of the station, including afterlife. So after we complete our current objective, I'll be looking for a way to get around them. Enough talk. Is there anything else, or can we move on? Tell me more about Petrovsky. He presumes to sit on my throne. That's all that matters. I get that you hate him, Arya, but I need to know who we're up against. All right. I'll admit he's not like other Cerberus operators I've go. encountered. He's smart. Thinks outside the box. He's very smart. Hard. <sighs> he's like his boss. No matter who suffers and no matter the cost, he stops at nothing. To defeat him, we have to be prepared to do the same. Is the cross Watch examination this. over because time is of the essence? Tell me I've defeated the elusive band before list. without uh, uh, compromising and my own but they're issues. They're highly organized. That sets them apart. They appear more civilized than, say, the blood pack, but at their heart, they're just as dishonorable. We'll have to appeal to their lust and greed to get and keep them in line. Anything else you need to know? Honestly, Neo Storm, it's a great game. It's a great like series. Irene than meets the eye. I'm kind of tempted to try playing Andromeda on stream as well. If it was anyone else, I'd want blood, but Nyreen's a variable I can control. She believes in a code of ethics. But she Andromeda will wait for after Psychonauts. You two must have made an interesting pair. I think we're going to need to take a Mass Effect track, break right? after this. Our connection was powerful, but doomed. Nyreen demonstrated zero flexibility. She couldn't put up with the challenges of my life. That's all you're getting out of me on this subject, Shepard. Anything else? Oh, it's definitely best to start from the beginning. Absolutely. I would highly recommend the um, Legendary Edition, which is what I'm playing right now. Um, the changes to Mass Effect 2 and Mass Effect 3 are not huge. They basically just kind of bumped up some textures and gave it a nice kind of little more shine to it. Um, but Mass Effect 1, the difference between the original Mass Effect 1 and You're the Legendary now. Edition Mass Effect 1 is Good. night and day. I'll meet you at the exit by the armory. I'm giving up. New inverters are the only There is the exit by the armory. Okay. Full is to exit. Come on. Oh, here we go. New inverters are the only answer. Good luck out there. Okay, here we go. Need to change anything, so. What's your history no. with this gang? Some mutually beneficial dealings and some occasional violence. The 
Talons weren't even a blip on our radar until the plague in 2185. Your little war against the other gangs left a vacuum. Not my intention. Their leader, Darius, took advantage of the situation and carved the Talons a bigger piece of the local drug trade. Are we enlisting them because they're good or because we need numbers? Their cannon fodder, we're using them because they're the only game in town. You're gonna let them know that? Relax, Shepard. This is how it works on Omega. Just let me do the talking and... Well, that already started going terribly. Here we go. Looks like we fight our way through Cerberus to get to them. Let's Not move. Hard. To me with my big fucking gun. <laughs> Otherwise known as the Black Widow. Okay. Please don't make these this ladder worse than the ladder we just saw in the cutscene, because I don't want to sit here for that whole thing. Money. Yes, money. No lore. One of these air shafts should lead us to Talon territory. There's a lot of buttons here. What do all these do? Wait a minute. Hold on. I just saw... Oh, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The terminal is active. Thank you, Commander. I see. Hold on. Oh, actually, let me use... There we go. Yeah? wanted to hide this, didn't they? Can I get through here? Nope, that would be too easy. Gotta go back. Okay, now let's move forward. Uh, but, but, but I have no idea what that said. Means. Power's offline. There should be a control switch for the generator nearby. This is a thing. Alright, well, I don't wanna. Woo! Save real quick. Let's see if this is right. Looks like they were using this to observe the detainment centers. Alright. Interesting. What's next? That tower is the Talon outpost we're heading for. Looks like the Talons are given as good as they get. like the talons? Am I gonna hate the talons? It's a good question. Commander, Cerberus communications indicate that the high priority target is nearby. Their forces will be directly on your path to the talon outpost. Understood. Ooh. 
Ooh, loud noise. Ooh. There we go. I was worried about that. I got wounded. Ow. My armor piercing ammo is awful. What's up with that? Okay, moving on. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. The coffee maker? Very nice coffee maker. Very 80s. My influence over station systems has just extended by 77%, Commander. Thank you. 77%, damn, that was, uh, I, I did literally just hit two buttons. T two buttons. Ah, how did you hear that? Silence for a reason. I think I just made people angry. Unfortunately for them. Womp, womp, womp. I tried to toss a grenade at Amanda Shepard. She just quickly moved out of the way and then shot me in the head. Yeah, that's about how it goes. Oh, wait, I didn't want to. Oh no! I think I might have missed a spot back there. I suppose it's possible to go back up. Elevators are usually a death knell in this game. Hope I didn't miss anything important. Doesn't touch me, doesn't even phase me. You cannot touch this. There we go. There was a thing, damn it. I hate missing things. I thought I was worried about this. Oh my god, I just took out two guys in one freaking shot. This is a pistol! <laughs> that was insane! Oh, that wasn't even... Oh my goodness, that was great. <laughs> that was an amazing boop. Service engineering got shit. Not on me. don't like you. My dear Reginald, I dare say this is a lovely day for shooting, isn't it? Your estate is marvelous today. Thank you for inviting me along. Yes. Next. Ooh, hold on. Thanks. That's gonna give me some points, I'm sure, right? 
I'm the good guy. Remember? Thank you. Yeah. Damn. Back off. I don't think so. Oh, hey, what's up? Pistol whip a guy with an assault rifle? I think she did. <laughs> super super. Are we the baddies? Take care of the wounded and scavenge what you can. I want us out of here ASAP. Yeah, didn't see that coming. By didn't, I mean I definitely did. Like we found the Talon leader. Let's. My, talk. my. Nyreen, aren't you full of surprises? Aria, the deception was necessary. I needed to figure out what your plans were. The people on Omega depend on us. I couldn't risk compromising our operation. Not exactly standard procedures for a street gang. When Cerberus invaded, the Talons were a mess. I brought new direction. By new direction. General's been hunting us ever since. You mean? Right now, he's attacking one of our outposts. That's where I need to be. Not really a criminal organization here, anymore. Boss. Right. Become more like a Aria Commander Shepard. Whatever you're here for. Revolutionary force. Kindly escort yourselves off Talon territory. We're here to help. We'll talk about it after we reach your outpost. It's a generous offer. Aria, does the commander also speak for you? <laughs> Not the way I would have put it, but that's the idea. There we go. Th there we go. All right, then. Come with me. You've improved your biotics since last I saw you. You noticed the biotic grenades? You always did like blowing things up, given half a chance. Here. What else do we have here? Do we have any terminals I need to press the big button on? There's a data pad over here with money on it. Meh, whatever. And, uh, hey, hey, out of my way. Thank you. I guess we're done. Okay. Elevator. So, how'd you guys meet? No. Alright, this is the Citadel back in 2005 all over again. Awkward Rampart without the music this time, though. Eh, you guys... Whoa, okay. Damn. I'm not giving you a shield. There we go. More? Anyone else? Oh, yeah. In a few seconds, it'll be down in a minute. Boop. I don't know. Atlases are just just not scary anymore. <laughs> they look big, but like, eh, it's okay. Ooh. Well, Whoever my next enemy is, is uh, going to have an unfortunate time, because I now have a missile launcher. Which I think I was supposed to use against the mech. Um. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, uh, I think I was supposed to use that against the mech. There are two of them now. <laughs> this is gonna be, uh... This will be interesting. A good word for it. Interesting. Mm 
Right. Um, let's blow something up, shall we? I have a very large gun here. And we could have seen this coming. Oh, I should not. Um, just... <laughs> I really should not. Um, really? Fine. Freaking thing down. Here, I was not going to actually try to use the rocket launcher in the small elevator. That would not be a good time. Crawl through Omega here, aren't we? That way? Yeah, I guess so. Except money. All right, damn. Really don't need money. I, I'm doing all right. Like. See, I wanted to use the rocket launcher on, like, one of the Cerberus commandos. Not, that's not what they are. Um, I hope you know what I mean. Of heights. That, those dumb ones with the smoke grenades. Those guys, right there. I fucking hate those guys. Finally, a little wreckage. Centurion! Actually, oh, I'm using the wrong... How'd that, um, how'd that training thing go, huh? Womp womp. More. I hear that noise. That noise means centurion. Oh my god, the fucking... Big boop and the little boop. Is it Fat Boy and Little? Uh, I don't remember the, the name of the other nuke. I don't know. Those don't feel quite as destructive. All right, well, up we go, I guess. There might be another, like, Locked terminal or something. Been compromised so many times, it hardly knows up from down anymore. Start there. Need an engineer at the catwalk center. Door jammed again. This may take a moment. You know, it's easier when they're down here. Oh, whoa, okay. using the catwalks as a secret passage to the base, are you? A long drop is the best way to get rid of unwanted guests around here. Ah, really? Aria? Goddamn Talok. Are 
Are those doors open yet? They're working on it. Don't worry, I got us covered. Ah, fucking. Oh. That is a mech. coming down here, that's for sure. Ooh. Line up those shots. Ah. Yeah? Open. Let's go. I need more ammo. Thanks. Hurry up. I need to get to my people. Oh, okay. Cerberus, let my people go. Boss. It's good to see you, boss. More elevators? Oh my god. <sighs> these are, these, yeah. <laughs> the level design is uh, very different from the rest of the game. Uh, beyond the grittiness, there's also just a lot of elevators in transition points. As as possible. Try not to interfere with my people's work. Intel just reported in. The group of civilians we managed to evac arrived safely at the other outpost. Ooh. Also, routine sweeps reporting nothing new on the adjutant presence. Adjutants? Creatures created by Cerberus. They eviscerate their victims' DNA, converting them into more adjutants. Some kind of Reaper-based weapon. I fought them before they're a nightmare. It got worse after you left. Cerberus lost control of them. Those things tore apart the gangs, then attacked everyone in sight. If Cerberus hadn't found a way to contain them, the entire station would be infected by now. Keeping your people alive through that couldn't have been easy. I watched friends get turned into monsters, and I had to kill them. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an outpost to defend. The adjutants really got under her skin. No, Nyrene's pretty great, Arya. Don't know that I'm gonna give you the keys. Hey, I just wanted to say thank you. Just reported into the boss. Still no adjutants. Thank the spirits for that. Do we even be bothering with this? There hasn't been any other since that dog would return, right? Look, I know you're new to this outfit, but get used to the adjutant watch. There was only one of those things last time, and Cerberus still had to seal shut an entire ward to deal with it. They didn't even try to help the people trapped inside. I... I can't imagine what their last moments must have been like. Trust me, you hear any weird, creepy whispering, you grab your friends, and you run. We're online. Ha! The inverter, I found it. Here, we found more medical supplies. All yours. I... thank you. I'll make sure they're distributed properly. Do you think we'll make it out of here? <laughs> that was Craig. Boss is here now. We'll wipe the floor with Cerberus in no time. No, this seems like point one for compassionate leadership, Aria. Saying you might be a boss ass bitch, but I think this might be the bossier bitch, so. I can't go through there. Can go around here though, but not over there. And talk to these people? Okay. No. Nope. Cerberus is backing off for now. Make sure the scouts keep an eye out for the next attack. You've done an excellent job, Nyrene, but I'll be taking over now. You know what happens to people who argue with me. And if I say no, you'll just kill me and take over? My people won't stand for that. Yes, they do seem nauseatingly loyal. Either way, I'll get what I want. Not this time. 
The truth is, none of us can do this alone. Our only chance is to join forces. You might be right, but the people of Omega are my priority. You take over one gang, and you think you're ready to decide what's best for Omega? Nyreen, watch and learn. You gonna make an ass of herself? Ass. Everything's in place. The entire station's connected. People of Omega, I have returned. Cerberus believes they have beaten you. They believe they have you under control. They are gravely mistaken. You are the lawless of the galaxy. You cannot be beaten, and you will never be controlled. Be ready. Your chance to strike out against your oppressors is coming. Together, we will take Omega back! Good. That's your plan? Throw civilians at Cerberus? Anything is better than being locked up like mindless animals waiting for slaughter. I know what you're up to, Arya. And I don't like it. I have civilians to evacuate. I'll deal with this later. All right, let's get these people ready to go. Now! What are you trying to do? Trying? The people of Omega. My people. Love a good street fight. When it breaks loose, they'll be ready. Nyrene's code of ethics won't let her sit by if civilians are exposed. It's what makes her utterly predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Cerberus is launching another offensive. Looks like I'm not the only one who didn't like your little speech, Arya. Glad I got his attention. Commander, landing pads are yours. My people and I will hold the main doors. Got it. Retake the landing pads by myself, of course. Let's go, uh, go take care of this, shall we? Ooh, spicy. Shut one key. Now there are more of you. They're hiding because they're afraid. Oh, there they are. Mech friends. I guess I should probably get out the big boot, huh? They are far enough away that I should probably, you know, actually do my job as a sniper. I don't know that I actually got that one. Stay alive. Now he's dead. There we go. I'm going this weird back way I missed. There we go. Good. Are we good? Commander Shepard, we need your help at the main doors. We're on our way. Thank you, Commander. Let's just check around the space here. It's a generator, doesn't matter. That's a generator, also doesn't matter.
Yeah, mouse slotting does not get old. It really doesn't. It's just, it's fun. It's enjoyable. You're like, ha! Huh? Shield, what shield? Thanks. I turn these rampart mechs again. Ah, there we go. Finally got one to actually start fighting the other guys. Ah, another Atlas. Okay. And Atlas is down. Cool. Place or something. Boop. That's it. Cerberus is pulling out. Let's because go. I'm fucking amazing. It is midnight. I know. Have it's a good night, Witchy. Morning. Thank you for joining. Someone's got to make sure you don't run roughshod over our people. You see, Shepard. Let me guess. She said I was predictable and therefore easy to manipulate. Pretty much word for word. She thinks she's playing you. Nothing new here. One thing, though. I maintain command over my people. This is not up for debate. Just have them ready. Oh, they'll be ready. Hmm, this is interesting, uh... Dynamics happening here. Very interesting dynamics. We're almost there, Shepard. The Talons will be the frontline fodder. Now we just need to bring down the force fields to clear the way to afterlife. Which will release Omega's civilians. Cerberus will have a million fires to put out. In one fell swoop, we'll have the people in the Talons working for us. You might not want to compromise your alliance before it even takes shape. I've learned not to put much stock in truth and goodwill. It might be time to start again. Tell you what, I'll take it under advisement. Yeah, that now, means I'll be at the command console plotting our next move. <sighs> All right, I'll get everything set up for. Oh yeah, no, they're they're an X. They're X's for sure. Your attention, Damn it, Ruck! Don't do that again. I thought I lost your signal. Yeah, well, don't do that again. Tentative excitement. This guy again. Emporium human relieved. I am grateful for Arya's return. Hidden back room was getting confining. Her patrol liberated me. Curious, you seem familiar. Last time I was on the station, I, uh... Last time I was here. Enlightened, I see. Yeah, I threatened to bash your face in. I have a plan to recoup my losses since the Cerberus takeover. Informative. The general threw out Arya's couch from afterlife. Upon taking over, I would like to gain her favor by returning it. Technically, <laughs> if you find it and send me the coordinates, I will make it worth your while. It's not a priority, but I'll keep my eyes open. Arya's couch. Appreciative. Upon success, I will give you a finder's fee for your trouble. I'll let you know. Courteously, have a nice day. The last time I talked to this guy, he had a cigar in his mouth. Approvingly, welcome back, human. Tentative anticipation. I hope you are able to locate Arya Talok's couch for me. Courteously, please enjoy your shopping. God, what the hell?
Yeah? Okay, we got it all. Those are exactly what I needed. Thanks. Chewing. Let me just check and see if there's anything fun to add to the uh, thing here. Assault should be less treacherous. They think they have us trapped in here. They're in for a surprise, all right. Arya wants to talk to you first, Commander. Okay. Well, nothing much else to do here, so uh, we'll just um. Yeah. Hit the save button. All in a night, I guess, because I really do need to go to bed at midnight. I cannot, I can't be, I can't wait longer as much as I would like to continue playing right now. It is not a good idea for me. I've already played that game one too many times. Thank you very much. Did I, did I miss a terminal? God damn it. I hate missing things. How much does that affect things? I thought I covered, like, everything. I don't like this already. Am I going to have to go back and replay this? I don't think I can. Well, no. I don't know that I can. I'll deal with it another time. <laughs> I can't think of it right now. Anyway, thank you all for coming again. Uh, I'm glad that we got to do something a little more substantive than a bunch of side quest turn-ins at the Citadel, which, you know, was, like, the first half of the stream, so... Um, yeah, um, nothing more else to say. I mean, thanks for coming. It was a good stream. We're going to do it again, uh, excuse me, on Thursday, as far as I can tell. So keep an eye out. I'll be posting on my Twitter here, here, and my Instagram here, at BOS Trophy Wife. I will be posting my announcements there. You can also feel free to join the Discord. There will be a link in the chat just right there. Um, so there's that. Um, also, I want to thank all of my wonderful subscribers. I love you all. Thank you very much. Uh, I actually have a bit of a lead on a car right now. And uh, hopefully things will go well and I'll be able to get it. And it will be not too expensive to fix. We're going to find out. <laughs> hopefully soon. So um, all the same. I still need money to buy it. So... If you do feel so inclined, my Kofi link is here. Feel free to click on that and send me some money if you do feel inclined, as I said. No pressure, of course, but uh, thank you to my subscribers and thank you to anyone who does donate. Um, anything else? I don't think so. Until then, I will see you all on Thursday, 9 p.m., right here, this channel. We're going to do some more Omega DLC. Maybe go back and fix some mistakes that I made, apparently. We'll see. We'll see. And, uh, yeah. So I'll see you then. Right? 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 <laughs> anyway, have a good night, everybody. Take care. I'll hopefully see you all on Thursday. Until then, have a good couple of days. Take it easy. If you're in the New England area, 
Stay cool. It's gonna be hot again. God damn it. <laughs> Night, everybody. Mwah.